Hey y'all, today I'm going to tell you about my bubble wrap experiment. So I tried tie-dyeing with bubble wrap and it was quite the experience, but it turned out pretty cool. So let's watch. First thing I did was picked out the colors. The first one is a pinkish color. It's called peony. When it's, it is out of there in its dust form, it looks like this. You know, it's pinkish. The next one is called plum blossom. It's supposed to be purple, a light purple. And when it's all dusty, it looks like this. It's what the dust dye looks like. The raw dye, if you will. The third one is jade green. It's gonna be a pretty greenish blue color. It looks super dark in dust form, but don't worry, we're gonna add water. So let's get to adding the water. I am going for a, not quite a paste, but a little bit thicker than I usually would. That's why I'm doing this inside of a ramekin instead of a bottle. I want a lot less water and I also want to be able to paint it onto the bubble wrap. So that's why we're using a ramekin. I'm gonna put three teaspoons of water in here. And then we're going to mix it up with a little silicone baster I got out of my kitchen. Anything's a dye tool if you try hard enough, you guys. And then we're going to mix it. You got to make sure there aren't any dust bubbles in there. Otherwise, you're just going to get a splash of color out of nowhere. And who wants that? So this is what it looks like. It looks a little purple. This is why I get peony and plum blossom mixed up all the freaking time because it looks awfully purple. Uh, next up, after I put all the water in there, I started distributing the dye onto the bubble wrap. So we did it in three sections. Top part is pink, middle section is plum blossom, purple, and the bottom part is going to be jade green. Now that's all painted, we're going to put the shirt on it. Let's go tank top. Yes. Now that it's on there, we got to paint the bottom because my counter is not big enough. So we painted the bottom, throw the shirt on there, and let's work on the sides now. At this point, you can see what it's gonna look like a little bit at the bottom there. You can see all the little bubbles on the shirt, looks like scales. I thought that was pretty freaking sweet. So we got our sides going. Get that plum blossom in there, let's go. And peony, what a random color, peony. And I didn't have enough bubble wrap for the whole thing, so I got an extra piece to cover the middle. After this, I rolled it up and I covered it in rubber bands to hold it together so that I could dump water on it. I want the water to seep in there and spread the dye so it's not just concentrated little bubbles all over the place. And once it was rolled up, I put it in an old pan and then I dumped water on it so it can soak in there, like I said. Sorry, this part of the video is a little jankety. I don't know if it will be in the finished product, but it looks pretty jankety to me right now. But it's too late. I'm not going to fix it. Point is, we put water on it. And once that is done, it sits for 24 hours, and then it's time to rinse it out. So I just took it out of the bubble wrap, threw it in my shower, and I let my shower run until the water ran clear. Once the water ran clear, I threw it in the washer, and I washed it by itself in the rinse cycle. Don't wash your tie-dye stuff with your clothes right away. You're going to dye your clothes. So I rinsed it and then I washed it with the rest of my clothes and dried it. And then your finished product. Behold the finished product. Of course I'm wearing it. So as you can see, we did get bubbles all over the place. I used a crap ton of jade green. So this whole thing has got jade green all over the place. I really like that you're able to see the little bubbles at the top. The peony really came through. It pulled through at the top of here. Up in the straps, the peony. The plum blossom didn't make it all the way, honestly. We got a little plum blossom here. It mixed in with the jade green a whole lot right here. So we've got a mostly jade green shirt. But that is my vocal wrap experience. Hope y'all had fun. It was interesting. Maybe we'll try dyeing with some more random things around the house. Why not?